You may have heard about the legendary rule, but did you know that legendaries rule? Only shooting stars break the mold. Hello everybody and welcome to Brawl Stars! I'm Amy the Amazonian and today I'm running Kethis, the Hidden Hand. He's an Abzan commander that discounts your legendary spells and allows you to play them from your graveyard as long as you're willing to sacrifice a few to exile. So what's this deck all about? Well, it's all about legendaries. It's got a little bit of ramp and mana fixing in the twos and threes, but for the most part we're running a ton of different legendaries, a little bit of stuff that feeds into or reanimates from the graveyard, and a whole lot of stuff that's just straight value. It turns out that there's a lot of cards that are good legendaries because they're good, not because they're legendaries. There's a little bit of synergy with the whole like, oh, I'm casting spells that are legendary or these are legendary creatures. And I tried to focus on creatures rather than focus on legendary planeswalkers because, well, I have enough super friends decks and I thought it would be more fun to make this into a kind of black, white focused legendary deck I moved a little bit away from green. You're gonna notice there's still a ton of green in this deck because I already have a green red legendary deck for Helana and Elena. There's still a lot to be done though with green, especially when it comes to, well, ramp and fixing because green is really good at that. So we're gonna head into the queue with this deck and see what we match up against. Ooh, looks like our first opponent is gonna be Florian Voldaren Scion. Okay, I've got good mana in this hand. I've got a two drop, a two drop. Ramp, ramp, Kethis. Let's party. This is gonna come in tapped. This is gonna come in tapped. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go Groves into Dark Boar, into Cheville, into Kethis with the Mox Amber. That sounds pretty good. The Florian is uh, usually a burn slash vampires commander. It's pretty sweet. Scattergoves. I can play this on this turn or on the next. It's usually best to hold on to Mox Amber until you need its mana. Uh, the big reason for that is there's a lot of cards that will kind of like two for one you hitting an artifact and a creature. Uh, oh, okay. Robin the Rich is doing some crimes. Everybody loves doing crimes. Here comes Cheville. Bane of Monsters. Also, Haver of Death Touch. You want to attack into this? Well, they're just gonna chill. And as they do their chilling, looks like it's time for me to start some killing. So I'm gonna get out Kethis. Which is now discounting all the legendaries in my hand. Which lets me get out Jadar! Ghoul Collar! Nathalia. I'm gonna swing in with Sh the Cheville because, like, why not? I have another blocker now for Robber of the Rich. And there's a bounty on Robber of the Rich, so I kind of doubt they're gonna block. Not just a blocker. My commander! Something kind of fun about these legendary lands is even though I can't do that much with them, Kethis still sees them as legendaries and can either let me replay them from the graveyard if I cycle them or channel them, or just exile them as fuel for other things. Really sweet to have them in the deck. All right, we've got Journey to Eternity, we've got a Ketra. I think I'm gonna go for Liesa here. is gonna give me some protection on my creatures if they happen to die. That way, uh, if one of my creatures were to die, it's actually going to return to my hand, and if one of their creatures is to die, it's going to be exiled instead. This is my insurance policy. Oh no, my insurance policy is dead! Oh, that's a shame. I've got a fun choice. Do I work on bringing her back here? Do I put the Journey to Eternity on the zombie so it immediately comes back? So it flips, lets me reanimate. I'm doing it. I'm out here wild then. I 
I just want to guarantee the flip on this. Nice! And here comes a Ketra, using that mana. It's a lot harder to get rid of a land than it is to get rid of an enchantment. Even, like, against these guys, there's a lot of exile, which would have just completely fizzled the ability on Journey to Eternity. So here comes Florian. Um, I'm going to throw Oketra in front of Florian. Ah, Embercleave! You double strike, I double strike. They both die, though. And they realized, oh wait, the catcher comes back because when she dies or gets exiled, she gets put back into the library. So that's pretty good for me. And victory it is! Looks like our next opponent is running Kyodai. And this is just a guess, but it's probably going to be Kyodai Shrines. Um, I run it. A lot of other people run it. Kyodai Shrines is definitely a thing. There's only two lands here. is isn't great. But we're on the draw, and I think I'm going to be able to draw a third. Hashtag greedy keeps every day. Oh, by Celestis. I might also hit the uh, journey to eternity. Oh, by Celestis. The Celestis is fun with Kethos because it costs less. It's also a legendary, which means I can exile it from my graveyard for the ability. I love incidental legendaries. You don't think of it that much when you're playing Singleton because the legendary rule doesn't apply so often. Only when you're making copies of things. Mm, there's three mana and Narset. Oh, maybe this is just a Kyodai control. Guess we'll find out. Let's see what Narset hits on this minus ability. It was nothing. She hit nothing. How embarrassing for you. I'm going to play the Chromatic Lantern over playing Kethis or maybe Mina. I want to just kind of make sure that I've got my lands established and maybe go for two spells next turn. Narset once again. This time hitting Teferi who slows the sunset. This could be five color super friends. It absolutely could. I guess they'll tap my Chromatic Lantern, untap their... Shattered Sanctum? Sure! And, oh, that's a beautiful card to have, but I want to continue my Onslaught of Ramp, so I'm just going to kill Teferi with Binding the Old Gods. Get out of here, Teferi! And get the Triome off the second ability here. I play Relic Unkicked. They also want to ramp. Ramping is beautiful. Go for the Trium. I think I'm actually going to go for the Snow Land here. I want to go for the Orzov one. I have it. Oh no, that one's not a forest. Right, it has to be one of the forests. Arctic Tree Lion it is. want to make sure I get some white mana. And uh, I'm going to go for Questing Beast. Questing Beast gets to hit face and echo the damage over to Narset. Questing Beast with his many, many lines of text. Unless he dies... Exiled. Swords to Plowshare on Questing Beast. Kolos? <laughs> Listen, I'm not sure why Kethis is, uh, in this matchup, but sure. At least there isn't Field of the Dead anymore. We can always be grateful for the little things in life. Gonna get rid of Narset. Goodbye, Narset. Hmm, hello, yes, I have many thoughts. Would you like to see them or would you like to seize them? They've gotten rid of Kaya, the inexorable. And they do have the ability to flash in Kyodai. They've got white mana. I was going to use Kaya to exile Golos next turn, so a good thing. Ooh. Here comes Kethis. We crew with the Kethis. 
Now, we use our Great Henge while it's been heavily discounted. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Got choices, don't you know? I think I'll just go for the chariot. Makes me happy. And I'll tag with my Sky Sovereign. I'm not killing Golos with this attack. They can activate Golos almost definitely next turn. So I think they'll just end up flashing in Kyodai or something similar. Okay, Wandering Emperor. This is totally Kyodai Super Friends. So they are running, so far, a whole bunch of blue and white Planeswalkers. You got more? You can activate Golos. You have the mana. I can see it. Oh, let's see what they hit. They got the Celestis, Mystical Dispute, and a land. Wow, that's pretty good for me. Not very useful cards in this, in this uh, situation. draw. We'll increase the cost of this. Go ahead and swing them all at the Wandering Emperor. Make a fresh kitty cat. bit overkill, but there's no kill like overkill. I know what I want. I want to play Aya. So I'm going to get rid of these two. And I have a discount and a tax, which kind of overlay to a net nothing here. No Golos. Yeah, my cost is increased by one by Thalia and decreased by one by Kethis. Oh, but here comes Narset. They can maybe throw a card or just get a draw in here. See if they go for killing Kaya. Yeah, they actually are discarding one of the strongest planeswalkers, Liliana, in order to kill Kaya. Nice, that's good for me. They do have Kyodai um, as a potential flash out here. Um, that's, that's cool with me. I'll eat the two cats at Narset. And everybody else at face. Who's going to be indestructible? Unfortunately, making a Planeswalker indestructible doesn't do much, because if they have zero loyalty, they just kind of vanish. They're just whoosh, gone. I know when to Lair of the Hydra, and unfortunately I don't have any creatures, so I don't get any value off the Great Henge. I'll tap it for two mana and two life. They can pump up Kyodai. They do have enough mana to do that. Oof, Teferi, Hero of Dominaria. I wonder if they'll go to tuck my commander. Oh, they're actually tucking the Henge. It's very reasonable. I'll gain my two life, float my two mana. Not like I can do much with it.
guess I'll throw you and you at Teferi. Hold back here. How long do you want to wait? I don't know what I fear, but I do fear something. My Zena with your Luca. Oh, they're just gonna make it from daytime to nighttime or nighttime to daytime. Another card in a graveyard. Possible that they're gonna do a mass reanimation of all these big things. They've noticed that there's a Divine Purge in the graveyard. Looks like that could have been very good for them against this board. Let's go ahead and just make this thick. Let's go for seven. That sounds good. Seven sounds tasty. They have enough mana to pump up Kyodai. Crap, is it plus five? I forgot that it was plus five. That's fine. Hey, you want to kill my Kethos? Of course you do. Kill my Kethos. I did the math wrong. Kill Kethos. No, you wanna. Fine, don't. Rude. Hopefully I have some gods in their deck so they can crack this open. Get a couple out here. Oh, hey, Lolf. You are not a god. You are a queen. She actually is kind of a god. Hi, Spider Mama. How you doing? You gonna make some spider babies? There's two of them. My power is for annihilation. It's my turn. And I'm going to turn this dirt into hurt. Here comes the henge. Go for one, two, three, four. Make sure that Loth dies. Goodbye, cat token. You served me well. They killed my lair. Okie dokie. Let's see what's on top. Creature? Creature! I want a creature on top because that lets me keep going off the Great Henge. Even just a creature entering the battlefield, like if Kethis were to say, I don't know, die and come back would trigger the Great Henge. Please kill my Kethis. That is a very loud noise coming from outside my apartment. I don't like that. Yoda's got enough mana to turn into an 8 8. And I keep throwing more and more stuff in the graveyard. What's it gonna be this time? Wrath of God. You don't want a Wrath of God? That's a darn shame. Let me go get myself a plains and a forest. Draw a card. Oh, Kamal's Druidic Vow. I'd love to see what we could get off this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go for it. Oh yeah. Let's hit this gosh darn party time. I don't I don't think I have much off that. You know what? Shock it in anyway. Yes. Yes. Before I make you disappear. Trustani, you say? Why I would love one. I think Kyodai has been successfully outvalued, considering that I now have everything on the board. Domri. Nice. I used to run Domri and Archibolus as a commander. The theme of my deck was no counterspells, thanks. 
I kept running into, like, Teferi Brawl and Brawl Brawl and all those other, like, oops all counterspell decks. So I kind of just caved and made a ghoul as many uncounterable effects as I could fit into one deck. Yeah, it was okay. Definitely not the worst deck I've ever brewed. Because we got a nice start here. Ornithopter of Paradise. We've got all our mana. Here's Kethis. And if they want to make these two kiss, if they want to make this dog smooch this man. That's going to be a weird one. That's going to be an awkward smooch. I'm going to just let the attack go through. Oh, looks like they're gonna go for the trade anyway. Wow. Vicious. Guess I'm gonna go ahead and get out another big boy. How about Pelucranos? That's someone who's hard to fight. They've got five mana. What's it gonna be? A Gargaroth? A Thrag Tusk! Nice. Alright, so, uh, yeah, sure, you got a Thrag Tusk there. But you know what I've got? I don't know, I have to find out first. Okay. <laughs> I could have fought Thrag Tusk, could have attacked it through it. But I think I'd rather just kind of keep my board as it is. Party hard. If I can get there, I would love to. Ooh, I got you. Seat of the Empire! With six mana, I could even blood and snow just to hit that. I don't think that's worth it. I do, however, like doing this. Hitting the champion a lamb hole. Or she gets any bigger. He's, he's fairly scary. Tamiya's safekeeping. Ah, okay. That, that actually is uh, very telling of how this turn could go. This seems like a great place for them to take out, uh, I don't know, like, Kamval, maybe? Thorn Mammoth! That does it! Perfect! Bye, Kamval! I'm gonna get rid of that guy. Ooh, I could steal their pack leader, but no, I want my legendaries. I want my legendaries! They make me happy! You bring me such joy! You eat like a child. Champion grows! And Domri gets some more mana out for, well, I mean, it's a 2-1. It's bigger than usual. And I cannot block at this moment in time. You know what I can do? Elish Norn. <gasps> I love this! It's a post-combat Embercleave. But it doesn't matter. That's still dead. I guess we'll hit Domri. I think, um, I think throwing it on the champion or throwing it on the beast would have worked. Seen the last of me. Book collector! Oh no, he's dead! F's in the chat for the pelt collector. Well, my big nasty Phyrexian mama comes and hangs out with us. I'll just take it.
Sometimes you know what you want. What you want is violence. Glorious violence. Get up, Kethus. The Elysian Karyatid, but now she's bigger than usual. I'm swinging for some damage. Because the champion of Lampholt is a 4 4. The Karyatid cannot block. Oh, uh, yep, that dies. Now here comes Domri. Domri can increase the damage output there and kill, I guess, Kethus? I think killing Kethus is probably the, the big thing here. Oh, or not. I guess they don't they don't want to let go of it. They don't want to trade it. And yeah, that makes sense. I'll take the 12. Ooh, more snow. Legendary do I have? It's just Polychronos and Journey. Okay. Currently don't have any, like, card draw set up. And the most blocking power they had was that tiny, tiny beast. So we swing in, and it's lethal. Well, we got a whole bunch of numbers and letters here. AC8959 is running Rahilda, the werewolf. She's the werewolf who does crime. She's a crime wolf. Like the best of us. Oh man, is she gonna be a really fast crime wolf too? Like Sonic the Crime Wolf. Bark, 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 bark. Rahilda's out. I gotta make sure I'm casting the spells this turn. I'm gonna go for the Cold Steel Heart. And, uh, let's get green on that. Have another black source there for the Meat Hook Massacre. Ooh, Cabal. You can play that. Or you could explode my land? D sure. Okay. Black. And now, boots on the girl. I'm gonna play Ethis. He who discounts my creatures. And I'm not gonna be blocking because even though this lets them steal again, I don't have that many kill spells. Yeah, they hit Mox Amber. I really don't want Kethis to die here. There's of hospitality, you spicy, I like it. How about I hit you right back? Do I just wanna go for it? Let's go for it. I guess I should attack first. In we go. And then... Is that what I want to do? Yeah, yeah, let's go. Looking good. Yeah, I should have gone for the replicating ring. I feel like Rudan might not be as useful. I feel like they're gonna be playing a lot of low to the ground spells. Molten Impact. There goes Rudan. Oh, hey, Henge. Henge on the discount game plan. Or I could bring back my girl. This will play the Henge. There we go. Gain some life. End the turn, so it stops asking me. Relic robber, gonna come in here. Gonna give me a little dude. Hello, little dude. Little dude who hurts me. Little dude who hurts me. I'm not a big fan of how you're a little dude who hurts me. Let's uh, bring back Redan. Destroy the relic robber. Get all sorts of triggers. Yum yum funky. 
Here comes Sese and Jadar, and we win! That's what I call value. When you're gaining life against a mono red deck, you're usually in a pretty good spot. Well, that's gonna be game uh, GG Rahilda, and that's gonna be it for today's Brawl Stars video. Thank you all so much for watching. As always, if you'd like to watch me record these live, you can do so at twitch.tv slash Amazonian, where I stream almost every day. But this week, I'm not gonna be streaming quite as much because I'll be at PAX East, hanging out with some other amazing magic content creators for the pre-release of New Capena. Streets of New Capena is the next Magic the Gathering set. It's actually coming out in paper before it comes out in Arena, which means that I'm gonna have time to play it with some friends. So I guess I'm gonna be hanging with Voxy, CGB, uh, I heard MTG Nerd Girl, Lady Lavinius, and Garbage Andy are all going to be there with me. It's my hometown, so I'll show them around and treat them to a good time. I hope you enjoyed the video, and thank you for watching.